G'day, welcome to Avention. We hope you're enjoying the new series thus far. If you haven't already, take time to go check out our new website, avenciontv.com. But for this week's episode, we're actually tackling quite a complex question. How to know when you're ready to move up a level? There's a lot of nuts and bolts to this, so we're actually gonna separate each phase into an episode. First cab off the rank, dressage. All right guys, so before we get started, we're gonna be using the American levels beginner novice, novice, and training. They're roughly the equivalent of the Australian levels intro, prelim, and pre-novice, or the British levels BE 80, 90, and 100. Okay, so when are you ready to do a beginner novice dressage? Well, if you can walk, trot, and canter, If you can keep your horse contained in a 40 by 20, and if you can turn left, turn right, and halt, then you're ready. If your horse only canters in one direction, If you can't remember 15 movements in a row, if you can't get your horse within 40 yards of a dressage arena, oh, then you're not ready. All right, let's head to an invention quick Q&A. Today's quick Q&A is from Annick Neumuller from Ontario, Canada. Annick wants to know, what are some tips to help a nervous horse in the warm-up at a show? Annick, what I normally do is give the horse a good lunge in the morning. That seems to diffuse any kind of nervous energy that they might have. Another tip I can give you is to maybe ride the horse more than once before your actual test. That way, you kind of get a pre-run of what your horse is actually feeling like. Hope this helps. Welcome back, guys. Okay, novice level dressage. If you can, canter a full circle as well as on a straight line. If you can, bend and flex your horse in both directions. If you know the difference between a circle and a corner, then you're ready. If you don't know the difference between your diagonals, ugh. if your circles look more like eggs, if you still can't get your horse within 40 yards of a dressage arena, <laughs> then you're not ready. All right guys, before we go any further, I know there's gonna be those of you out there that say, hey, I'm in the not ready category. How do I actually fix those problems, Shramo? Well first, understand that every horse and rider combination is obviously different. So I'm gonna give you some broad guidelines to help you along the way. First off, we begin a novice dressage. Understand that that is an introduction to dressage in our sport. So you just need to be out there consistently exposing your horse to flat work in preparation for the show. If you have a training issue like your horse doesn't wanna to canter both directions, you just need to be out there repeating and teaching until your horse understands that concept. There's just no other way around it. If your horse is spooking at the arenas every time you take him to a show, it's up to you to be consistently giving him outings, exposing him to new things, that he becomes hopefully a little less spooky each time. Now, each horse is different. It may take a lot of times or not too many. It just depends on the horse. With novice level dressage, the judges are expecting us to be a little bit more refined in our work. You don't need a fancy moving horse to win. You need a consistent, accurate, submissive test. If you suffer from a simple rider issue, like your circles are egg-shaped instead of round, it's up to you to pull out an arena plan with dimensions and plot where you need to be at what time in your test, just to show the judge that you know how to ride accurately. All right, guys, hopefully this helps you along the way. Let's head to a Shramo shout out. Today's shout out goes to the Irish Horse Welfare Trust. Established in 99, these guys rescue, rehabilitate, and rehome ill-treated, neglected, or abandoned horses. Check them out here, see if you can help. Back to the action. 
Welcome back, guys. Finally, training level dressage. If you can, lengthen the trot. If you can, perform a stretchy circle at the trot. And if you know the difference between a 15 meter and 20 meter circle, then you're ready. If your horse breaks consistently when you try and lengthen the trot, if you can't keep your horse consistently round, even when changing direction and performing transitions, if you cannot sit the trot, then you're not ready. All right, guys. For those of you that found yourself in the not ready category of training level dressage, a couple tips. First off, if your horse is breaking in the lengthening, it may be an indication that he's not quite strong enough yet to perform that movement really well. In which case, we may take a step back and do some more strengthening and developing exercises for the horse. You don't actually have to sit the trot in training level dressage, but we recommend it because it'll help improve your transitions as well as prepare your seat for the more difficult movements to come in the later levels. If you're thinking about going training level dressage, it might be time to start having regular instruction with a trainer. If you don't have access to a trainer or can't afford it, don't despair. Head to eventiontv.com and check out season one where we've got a couple of episodes that might help you with some of those training issues that we mentioned. All right guys, that wraps up this first installment of our three part series, how to know when you're ready to move up. Join us next time when we get to the fun stuff, show jumping. See ya.